Okay, let's dive into the new features and changes that are rolling out on Windows 11 build 26200.5661 and the dev channel. Also, these changes apply to build 26120.4452 and the beta channel. Always check the video description to get the link to find more details about these previews. In this release, Windows 11 is getting a new version of the recall app that includes a navigation pane and a new homepage. The navigation pane on the left allows you to switch between the different pages and at the bottom left, you're going to find the settings menu. So what's included on this new homepage? Well, so first you're going to get a greeting and the current date. You also get a search box to search for your activities. And more importantly, on the homepage, that's where Microsoft wants to your recent activities and top content. As you can see, I just started using the recall app and I have some resonant snapshots and we got groups of my different activities and pretty much everything else has stayed the same. But one thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is specific to this update, but when deleting snapshots, you're going to get this experience. And as you delete those snapshots, the application is going to give you an option to add that, that particular application to the filter so that recall doesn't take a screenshots of that particular application. Now, if we go to the notifications page, if we scroll down at the bottom, we're going to find a new section, and then we're going to find this position of the on-screen indicators. This is a new feature that allows us to change the position of indicators, such as for brightness, volume, airplane mode, virtual desktops, and others. So from here, we can choose where we want them to appear. We can choose bottom center, top left, or top center. So by default, it's set to bottom left, so let me just change the volume and actually, let me see if that changes. So it appears that it's not working correctly. However, you get the idea. Now the company says that this was a highly requested setting, which even though it might be true, I know there's a lot of people might prefer the software giant actually putting an option to change the position of the taskbar to the top of the screen or the side of the screen. Now, if we go to the date and time page, we are now going to find that we have options to add additional clocks to the notification center. So this is not technically a new feature, but it's actually a feature that Microsoft is bringing from control panel. And from here you can add up to two new clocks. So for example, to add one, you just need to click the change button and you just need to select the time zone. Then you can choose a display name and just click the change button. And now if we go to the notification center, we can see the additional clock. Now, if you want to reset the clock, just click right here and choose the reset option. Now from here, if we go to the regions page, we are now going to see that the system is going to, to show the current country or region that was added during the setup of the operating system. Now, as part of this release, Microsoft is still experimenting with the desktop spotlight interface. And now when we right click on the icon, we're going to get a new interface that includes a blue button, related searches and image descriptions. And finally, as part of this rollout, Microsoft is updating the context menu for File Explorer to bring AI actions. However, AI actions is not new to this particular build, but Microsoft had to stop the rollout and now the company is reintroducing this feature. So from the AI actions menu, we're going to find different options that we can use with AI depending on the file that you're selecting. So for example, here I have an image. So I have different AI actions that I can use related to image, such as option to a visual search, blur the background, erase objects and remove the background using paint. And that's it. Those are the biggest changes that we're going to find on Windows 11 build 26200.5661 in the dev channel and also for build 26120.4452 in the beta channel. Also, these previews include different fixes, but check the video description to get the link to find more details about these fixes. Let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.